Good, the light just shined through. Hopefully you can get a good view of where we are. Like I said, it's one of the largest castles in castle ruins in Germany. Ah, look, Eric, there's a lizard crawling. <laughs> so hopefully we can get inside and show you a good part of the castle. But it's pretty cool. It's also really bright sunlight today. What's really cool is that we can see even Limburg ruins from here. The old monastery where the queen consort of Germany is buried. And we hope to go there today. So this is it folks. We were able to gain access to the castle uh, Hardenburg, which is really awesome. Uh, it's been really difficult to gain access this year and we're finally inside, which is pretty awesome. Let's take a look. You know, this castle is so huge, it could take us hours to go through the whole thing. You're like, yep, <laughs> it's daunting. But this is going to be an awesome treat. This is one of those castles. Uh, a lot of folks outside of Germany don't hear about. Uh, it's been here since the 13th century, since 1205. It's been in ruin since Napoleon destroyed it when he controlled most of Europe. And he was on his rampage, taken over. Well, folks, this is a real treat to get into Hardenburg today. You've probably heard of some uh, amazing castles in Germany. And uh, if you ever visit Germany, make sure you come to Hardenburg. This is a really beautiful, ancient ruins, and it is ginormous. So the steps were blown away, so destroyed. And for safety, they have this across this because that's a long drop down, folks. So when they have the uh, medieval market, this is where it takes place right in here. Can we get inside? Oh dude, check that out right behind you. Yeah, no. So that down there is blocked off. Man, that's sealed as well. But look what we got here. We can go inside here. Cool. Oh, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. Hello? And dude, we got it to ourselves too. This is so cool. It 
folks, what I'm showing you, this is not always accessible. And uh, I don't know if they left it open on accident or not, but we are inside. I'm gonna light it up if I can. There we go. Eric, I didn't see anything saying we couldn't come in. The gate was open. But we have to be careful so we don't get locked in here. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. Looks like a dead end. Mm -hmm. Folks, let me show you what it looks like without the light. We're in darkness. Hello? Ah, oh, it's cool. Okay. Okay, so. This is cool. Man. If I read that sign right, we might not be. <laughs> we just have to listen to make sure they don't lock it behind us. I'm gonna go up. Oh, dude, look at this. Come here. Check this out. Oh, that looks creepy as hell up there. Oh, wow, I bet. Dude. We are on the inside by ourselves of one of the largest castle ruins in Germany. And the truth is a lot of castle ruins, especially of this size, don't have any innards left. They're all open air. So this is one of the rare ones that you can actually still walk inside. And this one's usually locked up, but we're in here. Let's see how far we can go. Did I reach the end of the line? No, check it out, dude, we could keep on going. So. Oh my God, don't tell me we can go even higher. <laughs> this is awesome, awesome. Okay, but before we go do that, and I don't want to get lost. <sighs> Hello? That, as you can see, this is normally, no, normally you can go down these steps, but it leads to a dead end. But it used to, oh, did you hear that? But it leads to a dead end. But it used to, oh, did you hear that? But it leads to a dead end. But it used to, oh, did you hear that? It used to lead to another. And it's the room, and it's the room, and it's it hasn't been dug out. So if you look up, check out where we are.
dude, this is so awesome. Man. So you see we're in mean, like pretty much darkness now. I'm gonna turn on a light so we can see where we're going. So what I wanna do now You know Eric, the next place we go I wanna take the Ouija board with us. Okay. Because we're getting in some really awesome places. I was just thinking if we had it right now, okay. that would be an awesome spot here to use the Ouija board. Because you see, this actually leads to another room, but they haven't dug it all the way out. They're working on it. So cool. Okay. So, it's light. There we go. Without light, with light. Okay. Let's go up these steps. Awesome. Man, this castle just goes on and on. But before I go back out on the chairs there, Oh man, really? That's Eric down there. I guess we're not allowed to go up there right now. So let's go back out into the light. Man, this castle is already amazing. Oh. So you can get another view. Wow, this is amazing ruins. Oh wow, look at this folks. I don't know if how well you can see it, but this is a dead end off the side of the mountain it looks like. Watch this, you're gonna see that this is stairs and this side of the castle has been blown off uh, by cannon fire. There are actual cannonballs, from what I understand, in parts of the tower. So as you can see here, it goes straight out. And this used to be steps that led down into another room, another level of the castle. But now, that wall, wow, I gotta be careful. I gotta get back up. I lose my step. So now they've put this barrier here so no one falls down, which is pretty good because it is possible to fall. I'm gonna go back up. Okay. What the hell?